Bonjour, hola, konnichiwa. Hi, vlog buddies. I have an announcement to make. I think that 35 year olds are the new 18 year olds. It's really a question of fresh packaging versus experience. Of course, it's a matter, a matter of personal preference, but I think that uh, experience wins out. And I've noticed this trend, not just with myself, but with a lot of my friends and the people in my life, that um, the kind of barely legal mentality of dating the 18 year olds has kind of been replaced by the uh, by dating 35 year olds. And the more I think about it, the more I think that this trend makes sense. First of all, 35 year olds physically are hot. I think a like grown ass man is 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 hot and stuff. These are all generalizations. However, 35 year olds are more likely to have their shit together, right? They're, they're less likely to be a hot mess. A lot of 18 year olds are just kind of coming to terms with life and themselves. And, uh, and I don't know that I would want to get involved in all of that. I'm lazy. <laughs> a 35 year old, there are a lot of hot mess 35 year olds, but a 35 year old is more likely to have their shit together and that's attractive. They are more likely to not be living at home. This one is key. <laughs> You want to date someone, not their parents. They are more likely to be out and comfortable with being out. There is nothing wrong with the process of coming out and coming to terms with your sexuality. Uh, but again, I don't know that I would necessarily, as a 26 year old, want to be involved in, in that process. I would much rather be dating someone that's comfortable holding my hand in public or that could kiss me on the street corner, um, you know, than someone that's, that's still very self-loathing uh, about their sexual orientation. They are more likely to be financially stable. The girl at my gym was saying, I was talking to her about this, and she said, boys will be boys, but you might as well date boys with toys. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so 35 year olds are, are, are less likely to kind of have that like student um, financial situation, which we all had when we were 18, and that's fine. You know, you work a summer job and get $8 an hour. Um, 35 year olds probably can generate their own income and can go out to dinner when they want, and, and you can split the bill. I think that's nice. I'm not saying I need to be, you know, a rent boy, but I'm saying it's nice when, when the person you're dating has their own money, can pay for their own things, and isn't always asking for a loan. So a 35 year old is more likely to have more experiences. I mean, they're 35. They're almost twice as old as an 18 year old. Uh, therefore, they will have had probably twice as many experiences. Whether it's you know traveling or just situations and obstacles and challenges that they've overcome, those are all things that they can put under their belt and that they can bring to the table in a relationship. And if it's your thing, if it's your thing, they are also probably more experienced in the bedroom, if that's your thing. Because they're 35, they've had more time to uh, cultivate a relationship with themselves. They've had more time to um, develop their philosophies and their perspectives, which is a good and bad thing because maybe at 35 you're more rigidly attached to those perspectives than an 18 year old would be. And, and, and uh, I think it's better to be flexible and open-minded and maybe, maybe that's something we can throw in the 18 year old column. But yeah, so that's my list. And, and for me, it's kind of like uh, um, a little bit one-sided that, you know, I think you can make a really good argument to date a 35 year old versus an 18 year old. Um, and therefore, I'm going to go ahead and say the 35-year-olds uh, are the new 18-year-olds. Um, you heard it here first, folks. 35 is the new 18. Disclaimer number one, uh, that we're talking here about attraction, not self-worth. That whether you're 222 or 202, your self-worth is uh, not determined by how attractive you are, but simply by the fact that you exist. So we're not going there, but we're just talking about attraction. And of course, attraction is different for different people. Disclaimer number two, I am not making this video because I turned 26 this week and celebrated a birthday and getting older and afraid that I'm gonna die wrinkled and alone. So my fellow friends, homosexuals, and blog buddies, what do you think? Is 35 the new 18? What blows your skirt up? Maybe it's 45, 55, 65, 75, 105. Type your answers in the comments and share them with the world. No. Look at the size of this frog. No! What do you think of that, Dan? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit.
They don't fight. He's slimy and huge. That's what she said. 